Hey everybody, Mr. Pollard here. In this video, I want to show you an online activity called Build a DNA Molecule from the Genetic Science Learning Center. This flash model is really cool, so I'm recording this so that Build a DNA Molecule is still available, at least in video form, after flash is no longer supported. All right, let's get started. The first thing we notice is that we have two views of the DNA molecule. On the right side, you see a side view of DNA, which is double-stranded in the lower half and single-stranded in the upper half. You can notice that there are 16 dark gray steps that go between the two light gray twisting sides. The dark gray steps represent the nitrogen base pairs, and the light gray twisting sides represent the sugar phosphate backbone of DNA. The molecule continues upward with only one light gray twisting backbone and 15 steps made of a single dark gray nucleotide. In the middle, we have an overhead view of the molecule that will let us see the way nitrogen bases will connect. You can see a T, which is the abbreviation for the nitrogen base called thymine. Attached to the lower right side of the T is a gray piece that looks like a three-dimensional V. This piece represents a sugar and a phosphate. The thymine, sugar, and phosphate together make up what is called a nucleotide. Nucleotides are the monomers single building block pieces that make up polymers of DNA when they are joined together. On the left side you can see the four different nitrogen bases of DNA. They are A for adenine, T for thymine, G for guanine, and C for cytosine. The circles on the nitrogen bases represent the atoms which are involved in the hydrogen bonds that form between complementary bases that pair together to make the steps of the latter. White circles represent hydrogen atoms that are partially positive due to uneven sharing of electrons and covalent bonds. The dark shaded circles represent highly electronegative atoms. In A, the dark circle is a nitrogen. In thymine, the dark circle is an oxygen. In guanine, the dark circle is an oxygen atom. And in cytosine, the two dark shaded circles represent one nitrogen and one oxygen atom. Both oxygen and nitrogen atoms have partial negative charges due to uneven sharing of electrons in the covalent bonds they form. To remember the base pairing rules for DNA, there is a simple mnemonic device you can use. Apple in the tree will help you remember that adenine goes with thymine. Car in the garage will help you to remember that cytosine goes with guanine. Let's say that one more time. Apple in the tree, A goes with T. Car in the garage, C goes with G. The reason for the bases pairing in this specific way is that when an adenine lines up across from a thymine, Partially positive hydrogen atoms line up across from partially negative oxygen and nitrogen atoms. The attraction that forms between them helps to hold the DNA molecule together and is called a hydrogen bond. Two hydrogen bonds form between A and T. When a guanine lines up across from a cytosine, there are three hydrogen bonds that form. The first H bond forms between a hydrogen of the guanine and a nitrogen of the cytosine. A second hydrogen bond forms between the other guanine hydrogen and the cytosine's oxygen, and a third H bond forms between the cytosine's hydrogen and the oxygen of the guanine. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a like and leaving a note or a question for me in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell if you want to keep up with all the new videos I'm posting about chemistry, biology, and other cool science stuff. And if you are looking for more help in understanding the structure of DNA, as well as the processes of replication, transcription, and translation, please check out these other videos. Until next time, stay curious.